In today's video, thanks to the Home Depot C program, we're going to review this product, which is for hanging like a bathrobe. Uh, I'd like to show you the actual product box, but they didn't send me one, so I can't do that. But if you look right there, there's the product info that you need. Uh, these look like they're solid, but in actuality, they're hollow. And that's no big deal. Um, on the back, the mounting system they use is the Allen key with an Allen screw that holds this back plate. This is what you mount to your door or wall, and then you secure this base with the Allen screw. And the key is provided with the kit. There's the key. You get four screws, four mollies. I got a double set. I don't know if that's normal, but it's appreciated because you can always use these with other products. You'll only need two screws to do the actual installation, uh, a drill, possibly a screwdriver. It says it suggests a level. I don't see a need for one. It's You kind of just do it all by eyesight. Anyway, so uh, I'll take you through the installation and see if uh, it's worth getting one of these in your house. This is the door that we're going to be mounting our hook on. And I'm going to pick this area right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get one of our screws and make sure that that screw does not exceed the thickness of the door. Because if it does, then your screw is going to stick out on the other side and you don't want that. So if this screw is too long, you got to get a shorter screw, but it looks like in our case, and I guess most doors, it should work just fine. Our next step is to separate the mounting bracket from the hook itself. And we do that by using the Allen key, turning counterclockwise until the piece just drops out. And there's really no up or down to this. Though, in looking at it, you can see that one is long, the top one is longer, up and down, and the bottom one is wider, left to right. Of course, you can turn that over to suit your installation needs. I'm going to go with the long side up and put a screw there then a screw down here. Because we're going into uh, wood, we're not going to be using the mollies. We're just going to be directly screwing into this. If you're going into drywall, then you'd put in a molly and then a screw. Obviously, molly, this, then screw. We're using a 3 seconds drill bit to go into the wood. And of course, you don't want to go all the way through. Otherwise, you'll have a hole on the other side. You can either mark your drill bit with some tape so you know your depth, or you can sort of guess. With our first hole concluded, just wanted to show you a quick little trick here. If you get a grocery bag and put some painter's tape on it, that'll catch all the wood shavings that come out and prevent your significant other from getting upset with you. With the screw put on the mounting bracket, I'm gonna screw this in almost all the way so that it provides a template for the bottom hole so I know exactly where to drill. And because it's free hanging, it's going to hang straight so there's no need for a level. With the mount hanging straight, I'm ready to approximate the center on the bottom part of the bracket and throw my hole. And my bag has caught all my shavings. Another installation tip to help drive your screws easier through the wood, just scrape on a little bit of soap onto the threads and that'll help it travel easier into the wood. We're ready to drive the second screw home. 
see how, how much difference adding a little bit of soap onto the threads made versus this one where the bit wants to keep on jumping out. Use soap and that won't be happening to you. With the mounting bracket installed, we're ready to add the hook. And all we have to do is go in from the top, which will catch here, and then get past this on the bottom. And then we tighten that Allen screw with our Allen wrench. Of course, the tricky part is that you only can turn this Allen wrench 100 and 80 degrees and then you have to stop and you're right up against the wall. I actually prefer hooks that snap into position but you can still do this and it's a nice looking piece and once you uh, screw in the Allen this head should disappear almost all the way into the body of the hook. As we make our final turn we now have fully installed our hook. Remove our little tape. And there's the final installation. That's a nice looking piece. Put your hat, towels, coats. There's that hollow sound. But again, it's plenty for what we need to do with it. Some quick measurements. Two and a half on depth, height, two and a quarter, base one and nine eighths, stem about five eighths. It's a brush stainless steel look. And summing up the product, the kit comes with two bathroom hooks. Installation is really easy. It has a great look to it. And the finish is such that it's not going to get marred with fingerprints and there are no sharp edges so you're not going to damage any delicate fabric that you might want to hang on this. It certainly will add a nice stylish look to a bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, even a garage. For me it's a really good buy and I'm glad I have this. And yes I did install the second one and now I can put my scarf on it. If you found this video useful or interesting Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and please, please subscribe. Thank you, as always, for watching.